Well, I put this trap here yesterday. I just had to be going by. I thought I'd swing in and check it. Michigan, we don't have a 24-hour check on lethal sets. Um, so a lot of times you all set for a couple, two, three days, or two days, and then check them. Um, but uh, I put this set in yesterday. It looked like a good otter spot. What is it? It's a, a crick going into a bigger body of water, an inlet. And uh, these are, you know, killer otter spots. And uh, I haven't even picked it out of the water to see it. I only set one trap here. Well, generally I'll set two if I'm really trying to pile up otters, especially good looking spots like this. Uh, we're only allowed two otters in Michigan um, in the lower peninsula where I'm at. So, um, you know, they're, I don't want to catch both of them right here anyways. Uh, it doesn't look like a monster otter. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, that's a nice otter. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. It looks smaller. But this is a tough spot to set too. So I just look for a gap in here, put the trap in. Oh, that's a pretty nice male otter. Yep, we got him in RBG. So uh, Nick will be happy about that. They uh, they work pretty good. I mean, he never never even moved it. So he's come up, he was coming up, and that's just the way he sat. So that's pretty pretty nice otter. Dark baby too, but I couldn't be happier with uh, the way the RBG worked. That baby's got some stout springs on it. Nice job, Nick. She put a big bite on that otter. It's like a jigsaw puzzle trying to get it out. I'm going to reset the trap here, go for another male. Like I say, we're allowed two. Too rocky, you can't get a stand in here. There's just no way. Rock runs, I don't know, deep, deep. There's like a little bunch of rocks and shells and stuff there. So I just set this right on top. I'm putting it on the first one. Like so. What I got is a T bar over here, 330 second cable, about six feet. I like a good long one. Take the safeties off. I got a rock, a rock and a sandbar right here that's pushing the point out. And then I got the weeds I'll push out even more. And it forms the point right here for the gap. I'm trying to find my other limb. Oh, there it is. I have to bust a few branches off. I'm trying to get into it. So it's creating our gap to take some of these weeds. A lot of times to keep that gap in, I don't want it going forward. I'll take like a, a branch or a twig to keep that grass up there. Like so. 
and it creates that, you know, keeps that gap right there. All the way coming up, they're going to see weeds on this side. That's the gap, and they'll come right through it. That's a completed set right there. That's how I caught the otter. Um, you know, we got the the uh, dive sticks over the top, and uh, you know, you find spots like this. We have a big body of water, and the water's coming out on a you know a tributary. You know, set these spots, and uh, especially if they have a backflow to it like this one does, they like to get in there and hunt. So you know, find spots like this, set them up. You're gonna catch big male otters. The bullet.